The most recent investigation has revealed that Assemblyman Speaker Sheldon Silver participated in a cover-up to hide egregious sexual harassment charges by former Assemblyman Vito Lopez. In light of this today, I am calling on Sheldon Silver to resign as Speaker of the Assembly. Until Sheldon Silver resigns, I will suspend my participation in the Democratic Caucus. The Democratic Party that I believe in stands up for women's rights and does not tolerate sexual harassment at any level. The Democratic Party that I believe in stands up to powerful interests. It does not cover up for them. The Democratic Party that I believe in protects the powerless. It doesn't pay off politicians. Sheldon Silver does not represent that Democratic Party that we all believe in, and I'm calling on him for today to step down. Did anything change your mind at this point, if you had a conversation with Shelly Silver, could anything change your mind? The only thing that could change my mind is if he stepped down. There's nothing else that could change my mind. Look, at this is a very difficult decision. It's something that I really thought about. And after I read that investigation, I cannot be complicit anymore. And that's the problem in Albany. It's easy to go along to get along. And I'm not going along anymore. And I'll face the consequences, whatever they may be. But I was elected here to do a job. And for four months, I had a piece of legislation that just sat there. And we could do something to end secret settlements in the state of New York. And we're not doing it. How would you respond to the charge that this is kind of grandstanding by a backbencher who's maybe never had this many reporters in his office ever? I've never had this many reporters in my office, probably never. Look at, we come, when you run for office, if there's any person that runs for office, if you see that little poster up there, it says good neighbor, good faith. We're here to change things. Anyone who runs for office who wants to change things. So if I was really trying to get ahead in Albany, and you talk, and I probably am on the bench right now with only one year of seniority, boy, that's the greatest thing is to upset the person who can control my future with legislation. It would be very easy for me to vote for the speaker this year. It'd be very easy for me to not say anything, and you're probably right, but you know what? I'm hoping that other legislators are going to look at this, and if someone who has the least amount of seniority is willing to stand up, Maybe someone who has more seniority would be willing to take a risk. So you're absolutely correct. I mean, this is the most reporters I've ever had in my office, but I'm doing this for the right reasons. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suffer the consequence of this. So there's only one person here, after all the reporters leave, that's going to suffer the consequences, whether it's loss of staffing. But I didn't get elected to Albany for that. I got here to do the right thing.